What is going on, guys? It's ASAP Flash here, and today, The Defenders, what Marvel has been leading up to on the Netflix series, has finally debuted, or dropped, or whatever you want to say. And unlike uh, the Avengers or the, S the MCU, where, where like, uh, hey, I signed you up for the Avengers initiative, now let's rag time, ragtag uh, get together and let's whatever. Or, or like uh, Guardian of the Galaxy, where they kind of uh, met each other through 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 uh, events or scenarios and shit like that, and then eventually bonded while they're in prison, and eventually became Guardian of the Galaxy. How this episode feels like to me, it feels more like, especially the first uh, first half of the episode, more or less kind of reintroducing these characters that you already know through the through their own individual Netflix series, but um, kind of you know, kind of like a where are they now type of a type of scenario, like you know what what is Luke Cage doing, blah blah blah. And at first, I thought it was gonna uh, uh, from from the first trailer, I thought it was gonna be like you know maybe the first few episodes uh he's still in prison or whatever but apparently from what happened in, in luke cage of september of last year to now apparently he finished with his prison sentence which feels kind of nice another thing that i'm kind of surprised about uh it only had eight episodes this season which i'm kind of surprised because usually most netflix shows have like between 10 to 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 uh, 13 episodes well except transylvania that actually has four episodes which i'm actually surprised about i'm not gonna sh i'm not saying i'm not gonna watch it but i'm just saying it just seems kind of weird anyway that's not about that so it's about this like I, so like i'm saying uh um it felt like the first maybe the first half of the episode is kind of re uh, reintroducing us the characters what have they been up to and what or whatever and i kind of like how everybody's uh uh, uh um what they go through this episode, it feels kind of like some way, one way connected one way or another. And of course, um, with Sigourney Weaver being introduced in this episode, which again, I'm surprised that they introduced her so early. I thought it was going to be like later on, but since it's the, 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 the season is kind of like limited in episodes, of course they have to speed things up or whatever. And, um, at first I really knew a little bit, a bit about Sigourney Weaver's character. I thought she was going to be some supernatural demon or whatever, but apparently, um, she's like works above uh, uh, um, Madam Chow, which is, uh, the hierarchy seems to be like um, uh, Wilson Fisk, uh, Wilson, yeah, Wilson, Wilson Fisk, Madam Gal, and then the Corny Weaver's character, which I don't think I got her character's name, but just how she carries herself, and in a weird way, how she carries herself kind of reminds me of a fe female version of Walter White. Um, primarily because, you know, she figured out she has cancer, a different type of cancer, but she has some kind of cancer. So, you know, she has to move the plan along. Uh, 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 you know, as Madame Gal was trying to tell her that, you know, if you move the plan along or something like, you know, being, being too haste with it. And it also kind of reminds me a little bit of a Jigsaw, how, you know, that he's also dying of cancer, that uh, the character is also dying of cancer. Well, technically he's already dead, but, uh, because of his cancer, he, 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 like, did what he did, although, I, I was talking about another video, but I just think it's kind of weird, you know, Jigsaw's, like, he supposedly came back to life, whatever, anyway, it's, this video's not about that, um, so, it was a pretty good episode, it was, like, you know, um, where, like I said, where are they now, whatever, and, um, at the end of the episode, it feels like, like, um, because there was this kind of like a uh, earthquake that happened throughout New York. So it looks like that event might bring the, the defenders together. Who knows? Maybe they might meet up uh, later on or I'm not sure. But um, I like how it is so far. It's like they, they obviously don't know each other. Well, except maybe uh, um, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones might know each other from having some coffee. Um, so it, it'd be interesting like as the series progresses on how like they're just total strangers, and by the probably the end of the 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 episode of the, the the season, they're all a team, you know. And I liked how how the 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 episode was titled the H word. At first, I was kind of like, what could the H word be? And then obviously, it's hero, you know, because when uh when uh, Trish Walker is talking to to uh, Jessica Jones, she's about to say hero, and then she says, oh please don't say the H word. And it's kind of an interesting uh like. Parallel, I guess, or not really parallel per se, but um, especially with with Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, they don't necessarily see themselves as a hero. And 
And Daredevil, he doesn't... I mean, he's kind of, like, torn in between being just a lawyer and being a good person and being being a, a, a Matt Burdock and being his alter ego, which is Daredevil, which is, like, he feels so, um, you know, like, conflicted on, on who he should... what route should he go down? And especially with, uh, with Luke Cage as well, you know... To, uh, basically, uh, uh, Missy Knight is trying to tell him, like, like, don't be a hero, be a role model to these young kids, you know, that's what they need, be like Pops, you know, and I thought he was gonna do, like, a, like, a stereotypical line, like, I'm not Pops anymore, but he kind of had, like, a, like, kind of a look on his face, kind of, like, thinking about what she said, and, and be, yeah, instead of being a role model, but obviously this show called the defender is probably not they're probably gonna be the hero and uh like I think I said earlier like uh before um that these characters they don't see themselves as a hero or they don't see themselves as like you know because because I think that that's a that's a definite uh difference between the Netflix versions and the and the and the MCU versions the, the MCU versions it's like they basically embrace uh, the title of being a hero, and they basically embrace that they are a hero, and they have to save these people, but with the Netflix series, it's like none of them really embrace the title of a hero, and in fact, uh, uh, you know, Danny Rand, he feels like still, he still feels guilty that he left uh, the, the, the uh, Kunlun uh, to, 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 for his own uh, personal gain, he feels like, like, because he left Kunlun, that's, uh, what happened to these monks? In fact, there like uh, his scene, like I think his first scene in the in the in the episode basically deals with all that that shit, like you know the stereotypical shit, like where they're dreaming and they they go through this weird dream phase or whatever. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this episode is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'm surprised that it's only eight episodes long, which it it it's nice. It it, it challenges the writers to kind of like speed things up and not like kind of. I'm not saying bore us, but, you know, there has been some episodes in each of the shows, like, especially with Luke Cage and, and, and Jessica Jones, where it felt kind of like fil filter episodes. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with the review. Like I said, a good episode. And uh, comment down below on, on who your favorite defender is, whether it be a Daredevil or or um, Luke uh, Iron Fist. I mean, I'm not saying Iron Fist is bad, but I'm just saying his character seems kind of whiny or whatever. And please don't... Forget to like, share, subscribe, and click that notification uh, to be notified for future videos. And I'm out like the flash and see you with another video.